Hi and welcome. Today is more of a YouTube analytic type video. We're going to look at my analytics and how I did for the month of June. So why do I do this on my art channel? Just because I think it's fascinating and interesting and I would like to just compare month to month and see how I'm doing. And that might just help you out a little bit too. First things first, why am I not on camera? That is because it is summer break and my kids are home and the chances of them coming in while I'm recording is really big. Right now it's like 10 after 8 in the morning. I only have one that just woke up and is having breakfast downstairs. But I just, as soon as I start setting up for filming, it's just a magnet. They come in. Secondly, I'm also, you can probably still hear it in my voice, I'm still <laughs> getting over a cold. I'm not 100%. So bear with me today as I just do the voiceover and I'll just give you the screen recording of um, my analytics for the month of June. Oh my gosh, it's a July 1st. Happy Canada Day, everybody. <laughs> oh my gosh, time flies. Okay, so I'm going to have these guys side by side. So I just have two, two windows that are exactly the same. One is going to be for May, one is going to be for June. So let's go and uh, check that out. So we're going to go to um, analytics um, and also on this one, go to analytics. And as you can see, my computer is amazingly slow. I love it. Okay. Oh, this is already moved back over. Okay. So we're going to go here. We're not putting it on the last 28 days. We are going to go to the month of Come on, can you work with me? Okay, we're gonna go month of uh, May. So that was the previous month. And today, we are July 1st, so we're gonna go to the month of June here. So it's exactly June 1st to the 30th and May 1st to 31st, okay. Okay, so this was last, oh, we can get it in there. This was last month and this is this month. Let's go compare. First off, how many people watched? 3,930 in May, 2,393 in June. So there was like about a thousand less. And that shows here too. 2.4K views versus 3.9. 35% less. As far as views are concerned, I have less views this month. But my watch hours have gone up 23.9 to 24.4 oh my gosh i'm sorry about that there we go 24.4 i mean yeah it's a little bit more seven percent but it's still growth i'm still moving forward and then subscribers we were sitting at 12 now we're sitting at 13 okay that's okay it's still growth i mean it's 13 more subscribers than i had last month and it's one more than the month before so here's the graph down here. I'm going to pull this one up. So there's a bit of a difference. Now, it's also a bit of a difference as far as how much I've uploaded. I can tell you right now that I will go on to a little bit of an extra, you know, little tangent, I guess, when it comes to shorts, because I done my experiment. My experiment ended. So we're going to take a look at those as well. I don't know if you want to call it the tangent. I just want to, you know, look at what happened there. Okay, so... There we go. May, top content, most likely shorts because they will generate the most views. Well, let's pull up the top five here. Let's see, and here's regular content under that, it seems, at least on this side. There we go. They are almost the exact same. No, they're not. The only one that is in here again is number two here. Have a little giggle. Um, so let's check the views out here. You'll see a, a difference because this Mother's Day one did get me a thousand views. Um, obviously, that one wasn't watched this month. The one that kept getting some views was this guy here. Have a little giggle with the silly pro. So um, anyway, that is shorts. I'm going to go down. Funny enough, though, like, let me see. The last four here are actually mostly long form content and I'm quite happy with that because 
that is kind of my goal is for people to come and watch my long form videos right here it's one two three four shorts versus one short and four long form videos and here's just one i've also posted a little bit more right but and this one actually was posted on the 31st of may technically in may it didn't start to pick up views until about maybe a couple of days in so anyway there we go there we have it and now we're gonna just break that down a little bit we're gonna go to content for may content for june it automatically goes into the shorts and here you can see also why i have like about a thousand less views um shorts haven't been watched as much this month um 2.1k um impressions were seven and then likes 47 here it was 3.8 views 12.2k impressions and then 63 likes so that has all gone down and I've, you can see that here in the graph too like there's a big peak here in may which is mother's day that one for whatever reason did well and here we don't go past 400 and what 449 is the highest i got yeah so and then i got a like a couple that just kind of sort of flopped didn't get a lot of views at all so my shorts did not perform as well in may as they did in june um we can take a peek at how people find my shorts it's basically the same all around shorts feed and then next youtube search other youtube features channel pages external and others it's the same order and it's almost the exact same percentage so nothing has changed there and then we have how many choose or chose to view that actually hasn't changed much in fact more people swiped away <laughs> so the top shorts versus this one th i started to post shorts that i um grabbed from long form content just to see if there would be a difference um, versus the inspirational shorts so but we'll dive into the shorts a little bit more later on this is just an overview of the numbers so you can see overall less views and that is the end of the shorts it's not all that exciting to be honest let's go to videos here is a difference funny enough so june 266 views versus 149 so increase of 81 percent now i have to tell you and you can see here where the peak still is here is from that one video that i posted on the 31st so that's probably why there's a couple of extra views 5.2k impressions 8.9 youtube keeps pushing more of my stuff out there and it actually is showing because some of my older videos are being watched i've noticed it i've been watching it we'll go into that in just a second so that is great that youtube is actually promoting my videos and impression click-through rate has gone up by 0.2 percent hey i mean i take everything i can get right i mean it's better than nothing and then average view duration has gone down but only by you know less than 20 seconds this i find interesting like again the top videos so you will see still mr uh green here is what i call it the fantasy forest portal painting is still performing it's still generating views the exact same amount actually so 33 views last month 33 views this month okay the reason this one's down here is because it was just launched on the 31st so i got 10 views in that particular time frame and then obviously it rolled over to june and i got 99 more views that video has been doing really well i did my analytics um and that one actually got 34 views not a whole lot but it's something different and not everybody's coming to my channel to watch my analytics it's kind of a tryout it's a nice thing about being a small channel you can still try things and see what um what sticks 
without having you know massive repercussions from your audience the unlocking realism the dog eyes that's an actual painting video that is still generating views right now and um, i'm actually experimenting with this guy with um the thumbnails because yay that feature rolled out to me as well now i can do thumbnail testing so there are a few videos right now that i'm testing thumbnails on to see what works that'll be interesting and then um the poison dart frog for whatever reason got 14 views last month it got 15 this month it got 14 this month so people are actually watching it which is funny because it wasn't all that interesting to people to start with so this these are not like the older videos that have gained some more traction these are just the top videos and then how people find me let's go over and compare the months so here you see a slight difference here we had browse features at the top now we have suggested videos at the top and that is really i'm, I'm really excited about that because that means that these videos are being suggested on the side alongside and people are clicking on it and right now that is my highest number then the browse features then the youtube search youtube search is pretty it's good too you want people to search for stuff and find it so the fact that that is in third place versus fourth here is very good so overall i'm happy about that okay so let's um i'm gonna dive in the see more part here and here there we go obviously you see the top five at the top but i just wanted to go down let's put the views right beside it okay anyway so i can tell that some of my older videos are being pushed um how to paint bamboo i've noticed has been getting some traction here nine views last month we're at six views uh in uh, june but still that's an old video and I, I'm in, it's very interesting to see that I do get views, although I must say the average view duration is pretty low here. But the fact that people are clicking on it and checking it out, I mean, I'm getting some traction into some older videos, which is interesting to say the least. Okay, so Fairy Fantasy Night um, got five views here, got four views, but look, six minutes. People are watching six minutes. That's interesting. Rocky Island, I that one just popped up this month, which is really interesting. That's a very old painting, and it is actually a painting that I uh, recreated. It's a, a wow art, you know, daily challenge from way back when, but getting some traction right now, which is very interesting. And people are watching for a decent amount of time. So, interesting, again, um... How to paint a cat so miss molly and she's back on here as well so three views nine minutes amazing here with six minutes four views yeah we're gonna go down a little bit the tree of hope is in here i don't see the tree of hope in here to be honest like look this is a one view that one is not in this list so that started just popping up um this month the tree of hope how to paint the northern lights is getting views although well i mean honestly can i can i count that as a view if the average view duration is two seconds see my tree of hope gets seven minutes that's very interesting very interesting but these you know three views but only 14 average view duration for a vlog which i've done a long time ago so it's funny to see that some of these videos are starting to get some interest. I mean, and then the, the Jaguar's Eye only got two views this month. And compared to last month, let me see. Nine. So that one's tapering off. And it's all good. It's all fine. It's all great. It's just, you can look at these things and learn, right? Other than that, I don't really feel like going into any of these particular videos to analyze. I think the reason why this one did quite well is because it's a bit dramatic my thumbnail is dramatic it's just me with a big cross in front of me and saying stop and it's 
it's it's really just to get the viewers attention and it's kind of working i must say i will be playing with different thumbnails to see which one would work better but those are actually the only difference with the thumbnails that i'm testing there are the background i have not gotten all that creative yet trust me we'll go to all just so that everything is in there and compare everything to everything new viewers again the shorts reign and rule here but you can see a difference i'm now have 178 new viewers on videos versus 95 i'm really pleased with that because i would really like for people to watch my long form content over my shorts the shorts are just basically almost like an advertisement like a teaser like hey there's this channel look this person's talking about this or this show and that let's go take a look and then but i have also learned that shorts versus long form audiences are different. So I'm not 100% sure what I'm gonna continue on doing with my shorts quite yet, but we'll dive into the shorts in just a minute. We're going to returning viewers. Now here again, it's switched, which is I'm really, really elated that I've got more of my returning viewers coming to my actual videos and not my shorts. So that's good. I'm going into the direction that I wanna go and I'm ha very happy about that. And then how many subbies? So last month I got 10 subscribers from my shorts. Now I only got two. And the videos got more of the subscribers versus the videos here. And I'm still laughing because it says here, I got nine subscribers. This is just from content. Wonder if I got subscribers from other things like my um, posts, like community posts, because they get pushed to random audience too. They don't just get shown to your actual audience. They also, just throw them randomly on people's home feed i've noticed because i've seen very random polls there as well and community posts from people that i'm not subscribed to so it is a way to actually get people to come to your channel interestingly enough so if you are interested in that we can always do a video about that but at the same time like i don't want my channel to become just youtube focused okay so the views we kind of already saw that in that other graph, so, but 3.8k, well, 3.78, apparently. Well, they rounded up. I didn't know that. So anyway, 96.2% of views came from shorts last month and 3.8 from videos. Here now we're at 88.9 and 11.1%. So I'm, like I said, going in the right direction because I really would like my long form to be watched more than my shorts. Okay, published content here little less on the shorts same amount of videos so that gives me an idea that actually my videos are doing good still same amount of videos but when remember when we went into the the videos everything was in the green more views more impressions and more subscribers even though it was by one <laughs> it still is um, doing good doing good a little less shorts i missed one short because i was pretty sick and my voice sounded ridiculous and because they're kind of inspirational and they're kind of asmr like like to, to go and talk with a very hoarse sick type of voice no no i don't think that was gonna work well so i didn't do anything with that okay impressions interestingly enough even though i had less views on my shorts the impressions have gone up 12.8 versus 8. So thank you, YouTube, for pushing my videos to different viewers. The views from the impressions were is has also gone up and watch time is going up. So plus the click-through rate. I forgot about that. The only thing that has gone down is the average view duration. And I kind of cringe a little bit with that because I'm really, really wanting to get my watch hours where they need to be. I need those 4,000 watch hours to get monetized. My my subscribers are slowly growing and that's fine. Like, like I said, I'm not really worried about subscribers. They're coming. They're trickling in there. It's just I, I would love for people to watch longer. And so something I might have to work on there. Okay, so viewers across formats. Um, I am really... This is funny. This is exactly the same as the month before. And I'm very impressed that actually the majority is watching both. There's only like 0% watch shorts only. So I'm quite happy. All right. How people find me. Shorts feed still gives me the, the 
the highest percentage, although it's going down. YouTube search is going up for 5.9 versus 4. Point, I cannot talk. Sorry, 4.2. And then suggested, sorry, I'm moving this. I wasn't supposed to. Um, suggested videos. They weren't even in here last month. So that's great to see them in here. Like, yay, YouTube is suggesting the videos and actually people are clicking on them. Very, very happy about that. Browse features gone up by 1%, channel pages up by 1%, and then others up by 4%, whatever that others is. So pretty cool. Okay, we're going to go to audience. I wish, I wish I had this data here. The channels that my audience watches and what they watch and what formats they watch. I just really wish I had the access to that because that will help me. But that's okay. We'll get there. Okay, top geography, so where people are watching from. Last month, it was mostly Canada, United States, and then very small percentages of India, Philippines, and the UK. This month, United States at the top, UK comes in second, then Canada, India, and Germany, funny enough. So that's just funny. I find them interesting stats to watch. Okay, not enough data to show the support, blah, blah, blah. And this is, oh, hold on. Watch time from each subscriber. Well, I'm happy to see that this number is going down. Not subscribe 95%. We're going down. Good, because I would like people to keep coming back. And then age and gender. Mostly females. And that's increased here. And then looking at the age. Um, highest for June is, let me see, 25 to 34. No, I got this wrong. Come on, use your eyes, girls. Highest percentage is, fine, is 18 to 24, which is very interesting to me because that's not really the audience I'm targeting. But it's really funny to see that that is the top number. I apologize if you hear any kids in the background because they are awake and I cannot get around the fact that, you know, I'm a mom. I don't have a studio and I do not lock myself in. I need to be available to them. And then here the highest number was uh, 25 to 34. I would think that I would attract this audience because that's my age group because I'm 41. But it is what it is. And, and I'm just... Surprised, very surprised that even 3% of who's watching me is like a teenager. Weird. It's funny. It's just funny. I'm just like, these analytics are hilarious. So I just want to do a quick little dive into the shorts. Okay, so I've pulled up the shorts. Like I just did an, a custom timeline here. And here you just have the little graph that shows all the shorts that I've posted since I started my little experiment. And um, it doesn't really give me a whole lot of um, extra, to be honest. But I'm going to try to just break it down month by month and we'll just do the math, hopefully. <laughs> but overall, from when I started experimenting with the shorts, which is right here, that's the first one. Let me go down so you can see which video that was. Nope, that, well, the Jaguar's Eye, actually, that's still regular content actually this one is where I started to experiment I mean we'll just count the extra 269 views it doesn't matter but from here till this the end here and this one just launched yesterday so there's not a whole like a whole lot of information on that yet in total it's gained me 9.1k views that's quite a bit of views if you think about my videos, right? Um, shown in feed 30,000 times. It, it, shorts do get a way better like range of eyes on them versus re your regular videos. I got 212 likes. And then here is the, the thing that is kind of interesting is I got 27 subscribers out of that, which, you know, for a small channel, it's really cool because that brings the numbers up, right? You want to get to that thousand. But 
the question is, do these subscribers actually watch your long form content? Are they sticking around or are they only consuming your shorts? That I don't know yet, really. Um, but I have slowly seen an increase in my other content, but I do not know if that is because I've been really working hard on tweaking things and changing things and doing little things to make my long form videos potentially more interesting for people to click on, or if it's because of the shorts, I do not know. So I can conclude from these numbers alone. Okay. Yeah, it was worth running my experiment, but you, as you can also see is that the latter part here, there's less peaks. In the beginning, I seem to be getting some good traction on these inspirational ones, like maybe because this was Easter, it got 400 views, but I've got a couple of videos that only got like a few views, not that many. The biggest one was the Mother's Day one, and it was kind of like a random video, me in my pajamas, my hair not done. And I apologize if you can hear the siren in the background. You know, but it's just raw and authentic, and I kind of teased a little bit in the title on that one as well. But okay, let's go down here for a second. Like, even though I got all these views, still only 30% viewed the videos, 70% did swipe away. I don't see that as a very big win, to be honest. Um, how people find me, obviously, the short speed. But YouTube search, very interestingly enough, a second one. People must be searching for terms. I do not know what ter terms, but yeah. And then the top performing ones. Um, but I must say that at the end, my little inspirational ones started to underperform. So here's May. And you can see here that there are very few little, like, the views aren't really that great. Okay, so here we are for June. Everything has gone down, right? And I haven't changed my strategy as far as like, I've still done the inspirational ones. I've only missed one inspirational short because of my voice. And, but everything else is just like, it's going down. And I'm just like, is this really worth it? Should I continue the shorts? Like, I'm not going to continue the inspirational ones. I think I'm still going to try to do one short a week just because uh, it has been bringing in subscribers, but it's just, it's really slowing down. So I'm going to ditch the inspirational ones unless you are like, no, I really like those. Let me know. But it doesn't seem like people really care much about them. All right. So hold on. Let's go back to, let's go to content. So here we are in shorts. Um, this one is scheduled for Wednesday. So that one obviously has zero views. Let's go back down to where I kind of sort of started doing it somewhere around here. Yeah. So inspirational ones and then some didn't get any views. So 461, 39. And then this is from my studio. This is paint preparation. So that was something I just kind of threw together for the front of it. Um, inspirational one, 23 views. Um, this is actual painting ones. They did get a little bit more views. Another inspirational one for whatever reason. This one got over 400. Then here I came on camera myself explaining something about trusting the process and when your painting doesn't really look like what you had in mind. Inspirational one, 13 views. It's like, it's very disheartening when you see that. Um, this is a, an actual painting short over 200, uh, inspirational one. Yeah. Over 400 bringing myself on camera seems to be always working a little bit more than not. So over 400, but this was just a, a funky little video that I put together about which brushes I had used for that particular painting session. Only 15, like it's hit or miss. You just do not know. AI, friend or foe, I'm asking for people's opinion. Everybody likes to give their opinion. So that one did get some like comments, right? 13, there was some traction on that. So asking the, the audience for their input works. Um, here's an inspirational one, 34. Now here's the Mother's Day one. That one happened to get over a thousand. That's my best one so far in that whole period. Funny enough, because I, I look like I just rolled a bed, which I did. Um, there's a painting one, 176, 
Inspirational 1, 133, another painting 171. Inspirational 112, womp, womp, womp. Actually, I lied. This one had more views than the Mother's Day one. And this was kind of just like a funny little silly video. Um, 13, 228, 16, like it fluctuates greatly. But for a short to only get 16 views is really, in my opinion, is like so bad. Then I started to these, when you see my face on here, here and here, those are shorts that came from long form content and they seem to perform consistently, like all in the 400 range. And I still have a bunch of those that I need to make and I've got one lined up obviously here. And this one just went live yesterday and it just kind of tanked, like stopped at 18 views. I do not see this picking up anything unless I'm going to change the title, which I might just do. Sometimes changing the title makes all the difference. So we might do that. So if I go see more, just give me a second. I'm just curious. You can probably get a breakdown of that. This is for the month of May. I don't know why it grabbed May. Clicked on content here. Watch time hours by content. Okay. That might be a little bit better. Here we go. Here, this will tell me. This is just from the month of May. So, guys, this is not from last month. Now, if I can customize that to, let's say, the last 90 days. There we go. That's kind of what I want to see. Um, so, the top five videos for watch time. Funny enough, here's that Forest Portal painting again, 6.3 watch hours. So that's long form. This is long form. And then I've got three here that are, so I still get 3.9, 3.5, and three hours worth of watch time off of shorts. Which I find highly interesting, right? If I hadn't made those shorts, I wouldn't have had those watch time hours. And then we go, so there's like one, two... I'm sorry for those popping up like that. One, two, three, four. There's five shorts that are actually responsible. <laughs> I can thank for all these watch hours here. So four, seven and a half, ten and a half. Uh, I like about 15 to 16 watch time hours came from the shorts. And about 12 from long form. And then we're going to go, and here is, now we're still kind of going back and forth in between. But they do give me watch time, which I do need. So with that in mind, why are you flickering like that? Like, just check out the options. Oh, hide the metric. No, thanks. Anyway, going back, I'm just still on the fence. Like, should I continue on with my shorts or not? Because, yeah, they're quick and easy to make. I'm going to stop the inspirational ones. Um, I might just continue with like, okay, if I have a paint session or if there's something from a long form video that is very easily made into a short, that doesn't take me a lot of time to do. So that might be something I want to do for sure in the future. But at the same time, I think the inspirational ones didn't really work. So with that in mind, this was a bit of a long flipping chat about numbers and stuff, but numbers do teach you something and they tell you something, right? So, and I'm sorry that my lovely face isn't on camera. Like you get, you get this and now you know, ha ha, you do, you don't, you do, you don't. Okay. Anyway, if you made it this far, oh my gosh, I am so grateful because that's a lot of rambling and I don't think it's very interesting if you're not into these numbers. If you just run your art channel and you're like, yeah, whatever, you know, as long as arrows are going up or as long as I'm still getting views and subscribers I don't really care about my analytics you should care a little bit about your analytics because it will give you a little bit of insight because especially if you start to wonder why is my channel not growing or hey this video didn't get any views most people will do a little bit of research into how to do YouTube and how to do thumbnails and titles and things like that um, it is really worth looking into for sure and um, right now I'm sitting at 739 subscribers that was uh, 725 last month. So we have gone up. 
with 14 subscribers uh, till this day. So that's great. And even though the views seem to be down, here it still says they're up. Typical range is 100 to 970, apparently. So the fact that we're still in green arrows is great. If you missed the video from last month, go and check it out. I will pop it up on the top screen for you as a card to click on. And I will also put it in the description below. And in the meantime, guys, just keep on creating, keep painting, keep doing art because the world needs to see your stuff. The world needs to see my stuff. I need to get back to it. Summer break is tough. Summer break is not easy because there's kids running around all the time and we like to go to the beach and stuff like that. There's a lot of time in that. But anyway, let me know if these videos are of interest to you, if you find it interesting to watch my analytics um, based on the fact that this is an art channel and that I do not upload as frequently sometimes just because my art takes time. I fill in the gaps. I try to fill in the gaps with videos like either this or something that is art related, like, you know, talking about lies that artists believe in, or I can talk about why I started an art channel or about my art journey. Give me some uh, feedback in the comments because I really, really enjoy communicating with you guys and talking to you and chatting and hearing your thoughts. If you think this is ridiculous and a waste of my time, let me know that too. It's fine. I can handle it. <laughs> All right, stay happy, keep your peace, and I'll see you in the next one.